So you're standing there at the dispensary. You've got three dozen jars of weed strains in front of you, oh. and you have no idea how to tell one from the next. Oh my god. What do you do? A good bud tender at any dispensary will be able to point you in the right direction. But still, it pays to be able to know what you're looking at. In this quick video, we point out five super simple tips that will help you distinguish a good, high-quality strain that will perfectly complement your biochemistry and give you a balanced, enjoyable high. Here's how to do it. So this first tip might sound a little too obvious, but the golden rule for picking out quality cannabis is to let your nose and your instincts do the work. Everybody's body chemistry is different. Therefore, a strain that works amazingly well for one person might work terribly for someone else. Take five or 10 minutes, smell as many sample flowers as you can, and in a very simple way, try and listen to which one your body likes best. It's honestly as simple as going with whichever smell you find to be the most pleasant. The aromatic profile of any cannabis strain is due to the presence of terpenes, and there are hundreds in any given strain of cannabis. Terpenes interact directly with biochemical processes in the body, and believe it or not, our bodies have evolved to be able to tell us what they want, what they need, and what they don't need. This is the same reason why if you try and give your dog a pickled beet, he'll turn up his nose in disgust and refuse it. This sounds crazy, but smell the different samples, listen to your body as closely as you can, and narrow it down to the selections you like best. And on a side note, all high quality fresh cannabis should have a potent, very distinct smell to it. If the flower has been sitting out for too long, or if it doesn't smell like much of anything, it's probably not going to do much of anything when you smoke it. No, we're not shopping for milk here, but like any natural product, cannabis flower does have an expiration date. In almost every single state, there are laws in place that require both the harvest date and the packaging date to be stamped on the label. Take a look at both. If there's more than about a six month gap between the harvest date and the package date, we recommend steering clear. THC degrades over time, and there's about a one to three month sweet spot where the flower you're smoking is going to be at its peak in terms of quality and potency. Also, just a quick reminder to our viewers, that's you. If you're enjoying this content, please hit that subscribe button down below and click the notification bell for up to the minute alerts on newly dropped growing videos, strain guides, and much, much more. It goes without saying that there is not a video on earth that can transform a person from a beginner into a cannabis connoisseur overnight. That being said, there are a few simple things you can look for visually that will help you see and understand what's going on with the flower you're sampling. First is being able to spot healthy tones and color shades. Quality, potent indoor flower is typically a bright green, often mixed with various shades of purple and blue. Potent indoor flower is also typically covered in trichomes, giving the flower a brilliant frosty sheen. Outdoor flower, on the other hand, is commonly a darker shade of green sometimes even hinting towards tan or brown. Outdoor harvests are typically less frosty than indoor grows due to constant exposure to things like wind, pests, and so on. This doesn't mean it's a lesser quality flower, but if you're noticing deeper, darker shades of green and brown, and it's supposed to be an indoor strain, then you might want to move on and reconsider. Also, it's worth pointing out that many dispensaries keep what they call display flower. The flower you ultimately end up buying won't be the exact flower or crop that the bud tender shows you. Or at least it shouldn't be. If the strain you're sampling looks bleached or void of healthy natural tones, ask the bud tender if it's from the same harvest as the flower in the back. If he checks out the sample and sees it looks bleached from indoor light exposure and constant sampling, he might swap it out for a fresh sample, which will give you a better idea of what you're dealing with. Also, if the flower looks old, dried out, and generally unhealthy, it probably is. The beautiful shades of green in healthy cannabis are due to the presence of chlorophyll, a pigment molecule in all plants. If the chlorophyll has been degraded, you can be almost certain that the THC, terpenes, and other active compounds have deteriorated as well. The first and sometimes only thing 95% of people look at when they're buying cannabis is THC percentage. Granted, a higher THC percentage does generally equate to a stronger and more potent high. However, THC percentage has very little indication of how a specific strain will work for you personally. 
In fact, many cannabis experts suggest a strain's terpene profile has far more of an influence on the overall effects a person will feel. You'll often find, for example, that a strain with a delicately balanced terpene profile will have immensely more enjoyable effects than, say, a strain with a ridiculously high THC content. In fact, for a lot of people, strains with high THC content, for example 20% and higher, often end up causing negative side effects like anxiety, paranoia, and a racing heartbeat. In other words, not a very enjoyable high. If you go back to tip number one about using your instinct and natural senses, we almost guarantee you'll have a more balanced experience and a far more enjoyable high than if you go off THC content alone. Last, but certainly not least, is never ever forgetting that the bud tender is your best resource. Like any customer service industry, you'll find the quality of dispensary bud tenders ranges from exceptionally good to very bad. More often than not though, you'll find that the person serving you is knowledgeable, helpful, and more than happy to guide you to a strain that will best suit your needs. Be straight up about your budget, how much you're looking to spend, and the type of experience you're looking to achieve. If you're trying to get a better quality sleep, for example, don't always assume that a potent indica strain with high THC content will be your best bet. Likewise, if you're looking for something unique, like a strain that will improve your sexual prowess in bed, let the bud tender know. Most bud tenders take their knowledge and profession very seriously, and they'll count it as a personal goal to guide you to a strain that perfectly complements the exact cannabis experience you're looking for. Well, that about wraps it up. We hope this video has provided some basic tips and techniques that will ultimately guide you to a smarter, more informed buy the next time you hit the dispensary. If you've got any tips of your own to add, don't forget to drop a comment below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe so you never miss a beat on all the latest strain buying guides and tips. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.